So on this example, um, you know, the main thing when looking at a problem like this, guys, is I think we all recognize this. You know, usually people will look at this, and every single class has found a complex fraction that they asked me to do. And I don't think they're because they're the most difficult problems on this, on this uh, review, because it's definitely not. But it's definitely one that looks most complicated, right? I mean, I would agree with that. I mean, you see all these numbers, you see all these brackets, and you recognize there's one, two, three denominators here. One, two, three denominators. Just too many denominators. So the way that you know, we talked about in this chapter was to get rid of the denominators, right? So we can rewrite these as fractions and just say, well, then what random magical number, not random, but what magical number or product could we multiply everything by that would eliminate all these denominators? And I would call that the LCD, the least common denominator of x, 1, 1, and 9. Well, that is just 9x. So what I taught was to multiply everything times 9x. And what happens when you multiply everything times 9x, and again, hopefully you guys agree, as long as we're treating everything equally, I'm not changing the value of the fraction. Right? Everything is being multiplied by the same value. So the fraction is still intact. Well, what happens here, 9x times x, well, that's 9x squared. 9x times 9 over x, well, now the x's divide out. So I'm just left with 9 times 9, which is 81. Here, I get a 9x squared. And now the 9's divide out, so I'm left with an x squared. So I go and look at my answer choice, and I see, is that an answer choice? No. But I do recognize that I can do some simplifying, right? I could factor out a 9 here. And here I could factor out, I could combine these to a 10x squared. And then I look, is that an answer choice? No? Is it? Yeah, is that answer C? Yeah. Or oh, actually, I didn't even need to do that. I could have saved myself some time. But it's answer choice C, right? So there you go.